General Science, Standard 6, Chapter 4, Disaster Management. Can you tell what events do you see in these pictures? What would you have done in these situations? Have you experienced such a situation yourself? Why do these events occur? What is a disaster? A sudden event that causes large scale damage to life, property and social aspects of a nation or society is called a disaster. In July 2014, the whole village of Malin in Ambegav Taluka of Pune district was destroyed in a matter of minutes due to a landslide. Many got buried under the heaps of soil and stone and lost their lives. In November 2015, many people died due to the flooding caused by heavy rains in Tamil Nadu. In 1993, many people died due to the earthquake at Killary in Latur district. Even today, people of Mumbai shudder at the memory of July 2005 when many people had lost their lives in the deluge caused by heavy rains. How and why do the following disasters occur? Floods due to heavy rains, an earthquake, lightning, a volcanic eruption, etc. Forest fires, increased risk due to high density of population in a limited area, rampant and irregular constructions, ecological imbalance, terrorism, riots and crimes resulting in bomb explosions, assaults, fire and accidents, etc. Disasters are of two main kinds, man-made disasters and natural disasters. Let us study some disasters in details. 1. Earthquakes Movements in the interior of the earth release tremendous amounts of energy. This causes seismic waves leading to movements of the earth's surface like tremors, shaking, cracking up, etc. Such vibrations or quaking in the earth's crust is known as an earthquake. It is believed that besides other causes, man-made causes like mining and construction of big dams can also lead to earthquakes. Effects of earthquake Destruction of infrastructure that is buildings, bridges, roads, railway tracks, etc. Change in the direction of the flow of rivers. Huge loss of life and property. 2. Floods A frequently occurring natural disaster 
in all parts of the world is floods due to excessive rains in the same place a river overflows its banks causing a flood the water drainage system in big cities falls short when there is a heavy rainfall resulting in choking of gutters and drainage lines water overflows onto the roads and surrounding areas and even enters nearby houses effects of floods huge loss to life and property soil erosion destruction of standing crops after effects of floods like spread of diseases and epidemics affecting the health of the people 3 storms the formation of high and low air pressure belts in the atmosphere causes changes in weather resulting in strong winds or storms effects of storms great damage in the storm affected region tremendous losses to life and property disruption of electric supply disruption of transport and communication four forest fires a forest fire is an uncontrolled fire in a forest pasture or grassland due to natural or man-made causes forest fires spread at a tremendous speed effects of forest fires great damage to natural wealth and biodiversity pollution of air disaster management community participation and disaster management are closely related taking steps to prevent disasters making plans to face disasters and developing the capacity for that is called disaster management to prevent or reduce damage caused by natural or man-made disasters emergency planning and management is required institutes at work the national disaster management authority was established in 2005 it undertakes planning and implementation of disaster management work always remember during a disaster helping and supporting each other is a moral responsibility remedial and preventive measures let us see what precautions we can take before or in the event of a natural or man-made disaster keep watching tv and radio news and bulletins use battery operated radios and mobiles heed the warnings issued by the meteorological department carefully use the website www.imd.gov.in landslides occur in hilly areas due to a cloud burst or heavy rains on such occasions do not take shelter at the foot of a hill during floods do not linger in houses or areas on river banks seek shelter in other safe places move to safer places at a greater height do not step into the water currents or drive a vehicle into them during an earthquake roads split open 
the ground cracks railway tracks get uprooted hence when moving from one place to another ensure that the road is safe further on take shelter in relief camps as they provide medicines food packets drinking water first aid etc to get protection from fire use fire extinguishers in public places like schools hospitals railway stations etc first aid in day to day life sometimes we have to face disasters or accidents of varying proportions on such occasions it is necessary to give some immediate aid even before medical treatment becomes available one external bleeding if a person is bleeding first make him sit or lie down comfortably keep the bleeding part of the body above the level of the heart and clean it with water two burns and scalds minor burns the injured part should be washed with water or held under water give the victim water to drink clean the wounds using a cotton swab soaked in an antiseptic solution do not apply oily ointments cover wounds using dry dressings serious burns give emotional support cover the wounds with sterilized cloth remove jewelry shoes etc if easily possible do not touch or burst the blisters on the skin do not apply oily ointments do not try to remove the cloth if it is stuck to the burnt skin if the patient is conscious give water to drink but avoid tea or coffee or other stimulating drinks get medical aid at once 3 sunstroke when we work in the sun continuously for a long time the body loses a lot of water and minerals that is the reason for sunstroke remedial measures take the patient to a cool place or in the shade sponge the whole body with cold water place a cloth soaked in cold water on the neck give plenty of water or liquids like sherbets to drink if the patient feels like vomiting make him lie prone that is on his or her abdomen with the head turned to one side get medical help or shift the patient to a hospital four snake bite there are nearly 2000 species of snakes of these only a few like cobras crates vipers and sea snakes are poisonous therefore all snake bites are not fatal however fear causes severe psychological shock which can result in death if you come across a snake contact a sarpamitra rather than killing the snake at once remedial measures wash the wound with water give emotional support to the patient tie a cloth tightly above the wound get immediate medical help 5 dog bite in a dog bite 
there is a risk of infection through the blood. Hence, first aid and medical help are necessary. Remedial measures Wash the wound with a solution of potassium permanganate or other antiseptic. Cover the wound with a clean and dry cloth. Get a doctor's help and an injection of the anti-rabies vaccine.